Hello. Hello and welcome to the Workflow Academy. In this comprehensive Platform Academy video series, we'll dive into the transformative world of workflow automation, empowering you to build, monitor, and optimize efficient workflows with ease. My name is Lisa Hohenstein, and I work as an Outbound Product Manager for the Now Platform. My area of expertise is workflow automation, and I create enablement content videos, articles, and blogs on the Now community. In this Workflow Academy Shorts mini-series, we will walk you through these three paths to make playbooks available to your agents and end users. Next Experience Pages, Mobile App, and the Service Portal. Today, I will show you how to create a content item to initiate and work a playbook from a service portal. New in the Washington release, we added the option to create a service portal content item to grant access to a playbook from any service portal. This content item can kick off a new playbook from a playbook record generator, if it's so defined, or display a running playbook. This allows us to invite end users to work a task in tandem with the fulfiller. And with this, let's dive right into things. As advertised previously, it's very simple to create the playbook content item for a service portal. Let's walk through the necessary steps together. First, we will need a published playbook definition. For our demo, we're using the incident response demo that is included in the Process Automation Experience Demo Store app. I navigate to Workflow Studio and open the playbook definition, check that the stages and activity are the way I want them, then I can activate this playbook. The second item we want to have is a playbook record generator that kicks off this playbook. This lets your users create a new record and initiate a playbook execution for that record at the same time with a preview of the included stages and activities. Third, we navigate to playbook experience and then playbook content items and hit new. We can assign this content item to any catalog and category that suits our use case. I am choosing the default service catalog and the category, can we help you? Besides setting a meaning of full name, title, and short description, we have to set the table and record ID. Since we would like, the, since we would like to use the playbook record generator, this is set for a minus one for a new record. Not all of these settings are required, but we will set the playbook experience to the demo configuration and, I, and choose the playbook record generator. Save it. Now that we have all necessary parts in place, we will check out the playbook in the default service portal. We can easily find it in the categories. Use it to create a new incident and kick off a playbook execution. For those of you who have migrated over to Employee Center, let's open that and look for our content item, which we can't find right now. Employee Center employs a new way of categorization called taxonomy. Called taxonomy. To show the playbook content item on, on Employee Center, I will quickly switch back to the item definition. Assign it to the topic for technology services and developer services, and then, save, and then save the assignment. Moving back to Employee Center, we can now find the content item and launch it. By default, you will see the item URL and have to click it yourself, but we're working on adding an auto redirect to that URL for Employee Center. From here on out, you can proceed completing activities and stages and moving through the playbook to resolve this incident. So let's quickly review the steps taken. First, you will need a published playbook definition. Next, having a playbook record generator allows you to create a new record in a guided manner and with a preview of the playbook that will be executed. Setting up a content item for service portal is quite simple. Determine the table and playbook generator that should be used, as well as the service catalog and category for it to show up in the regular service portal. If you're using Employee Center for your service delivery, there's one more step that is, and that is associating the, and that is associating the content item with a taxonomy topic. 
Some advanced configuration tips. You can change the theme for the embedded playbook components by creating a system property as described on this slide. To give your end users a path to return to a running playbook, you could modify the My Requests widget to check for running playbook executions, and then modifying the URL to point to the playbook page instead of the regular ticket page. If you liked this session, please upvote this video. And whether you liked it or not, this survey is your chance to provide feedback or comments about this academy. I'm looking forward to reading your comments. You can find the link in the video description or use the QR code shown on the screen. While on the topic of more content, if you prefer to read up on topics at your own pace, please check out the Workflow Automation Center of Excellence on the community. I've collected resources and links, and I'm regularly publishing new articles with best practices, FAQ, and guidance around flows, playbooks, and decision tables. Thank you for choosing to spend some time today to learn about Workflow Automation on the Now platform. Thank you for providing your feedback and questions to help us make these sessions better for you. Until next time, bye.